What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles. Turn to focus in on Sebastian Ejo of Askleftia in the uh, Swedish League, uh, the ninth ranked European skater according to uh, Central Scouting. Kind of a wild card of where he could go. I mean, his offensive abilities speak for themselves. He had 23 points in 27 games uh, at the U20 level, five points in 21 games at the um, at the Swedish at the SHL level. And then, um, you know, really played pretty well at the at the under-18s. And, um, you know, I just think he's got a great, um, you know, hockey IQ. He sees the ice well. He's able to make passes and shoot the puck effectively. But it's his size that is um, kind of what holds him back. He's listed at 5'9". So he, he is about 5'. I was going to say, usually those guys listen at like 5'11", and it's like, uh, nope. Well, Johnny Gaudreau for BC, the for the Calgary Flames, no, excuse me. He's listed at five nine. It's like, like it's like five six. It's like if he's five nine, I'm I'm, I'm pushing six eight. Um, not not really, but you know I like um I like his you know, skating ability. I like everything about his game, but his size. And I don't like knocking guys because they're smaller. I mean, even going into another sport with um the Seattle Seahawks this year, they won the Super Bowl with a quarterback that was five ten. You know Russell Wilson. So I just think these guys have the work ethic and the motor. And the other thing is they they were never big and then became small. They, they've always had the body type and you know they know how to be effective with it and I think if he you know somehow puts on an inch or two and then um you know maybe puts on a little couple pounds he can uh, be a really really effective defenseman he's not afraid to to play hard defensively he, he plays well in every zone it's not even like you know you got those small guys that are just good at moving the puck and then that's it you know they really have no physical game have no defensive acumen that's not the case with Ahill and I think you know it's all around game if he was you know, six two, six three. You'd be talking about him being a, a lottery pick. You know, going in the top fourteen. But um, alas, I think if you take him, you know, in the second round, he's a good value pick in the second round. I like again. I like the way he plays the game. I just wish he was bigger, and that's not fair to the kid. To be, you know, quite honest. But I think uh, his hockey IQ is good enough that he can make the adjustment. And I think his um, physical abilities are good enough. I mean, you see smallish defensemen do well in the NHL, and it's not unheard of. And uh, I think, given his work ethic and his resume, I think he'll be uh, an effective player at the next level. I think he's gonna he'll need do at least another year uh, in Sweden, and then come over and play North American hockey um, after a year or two. But again, taking him in the second round, I think works well for um, for for everyone. You know, I think you'll get a good value pick. I think there's a lot of upside, and he's worth rolling the dice. You know, I like his all around game. Anyway, that's all I got in this episode of the Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles on Sebastian Ajo of Asklefia in the Swedish League. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.